What's going on, family? Look, check this out. This video is particularly for those who like to take advantage of people's kindness. Let me tell you something. When you are around or when someone is in your life, I don't care if it is a co-worker, that's someone that's briefly in your life. And these people could be so kind to you, respectful, 100, straightforward, and even willing to go out their way to even help you personally. But yet, for some reason, you take their kindness for weakness and you rather damage the relationship. Now, I'm not talking about a love relationship or a personal relationship. The relationship, I mean, it's like, you know, being of good, kind people. You know, being around uh, uh, someone who you can laugh and talk with. Maybe even once in a while, give a hug out to. You know what I'm saying? Pep, you know, pep them on the back if they going through something personal or whatnot. That's a good co-worker. A good co-worker don't have to, shouldn't take nothing personal. But I'm just saying, this is a person who have a good heart. You know, you people out there who take advantage of people like that is just real sad. Because let me tell you something. How dare you continue to treat them with contempt. And then when they put their wall up and cut you off, you make it seem as if we did something wrong to you. How dare you? You're selfish. And see, when you act extra like that after we didn't cut you off, all you're doing is validating us. You're letting us know that we did the right thing. You're letting us know that, yeah, you were shady. You were, you weren't real. You weren't good peoples. And, and, and you, and we, we're glad that we're caught right. We caught you right in due time before we got seriously injured. And we just cut you off. In due time. Now, see, here's the thing with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm good peoples. I'm not perfect, but I know I'm good peoples. Huh? If if a, if a liar or a shenanigan person fix their mouth to say that they ain't never hurt nobody and they good peoples, they don't know why they should have enemy because they they are so good. Well, let your actions speak louder than your words. Let your actions speak for your words. How about that? See. A person, can, they could be pissed at me, at KK. They could be pissed at me. Huh? But I bet money, even within their lies, they lie for a reaction because they had a down state on how I, I, I reject them and they bull crap. But let me tell you something. Deep down inside, they can't say what I done. Keep it 100. If my enemies just be 100 for a whole day and somebody say what did kk do wrong to you or what kk is doing to be attacked if you just be 100 for once in your lifetime you would say kk did nothing but try to be cool kk did nothing but try to help huh i'm a person who's firm but fair being firm me, I stand on what I believe. I stand on boundaries. I don't allow no one to cross boundary with, boundaries with me. And a lot of weak people don't understand that. So they would probably take that personal and say, well, she's mean. I'm not mean. I'm cool. Until you make me get firm with you. Huh? That's how we doing that. No, I, I'm not no doormat. You're not walking over me. I could be patient with you. I could be humble with you. But when you take advantage of that, then I got to cut you loose. Know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm saying. So don't get mad after you done burnt the bridge and then talking about some, let me beat that wall down. Why you got Why you got the wall up? You bogus. You, you wrong for having that wall up. Why you cut me off like that? You're supposed to be loving. You're supposed to be caring all the way to your dad. Even God Almighty got boundaries. What you mean? Huh? Read Deuteronomy. Now here's the thing. You have to understand something, people. When someone is in your life and they look out for you, they take care of you, 
and you this type of person who burn bridges and, and man, look, I ain't tripping on him. I ain't tripping on her. I know he or she love me, you know, whatever. But I'm finna go hang out with them or her and him because I know they fake or whatever, but I like the momentary fun that I have with them. Man, pff, huh, I'll holler at you later. You know, I ain't got time for you right now. I know I could come back to you. But right now, I'm finna have fun with him or her for a moment. Yeah, they may be shenanigans, but I'm gonna try to change them. You know what I'm saying? You, man, you bored and all that. I ain't got time for all that. I'm finna go get this trophy right here to make me look good on the outside. You fat. You ugly. Yeah, you cool, but uh, you're lacking your looks. But over here, she or he fan, and I'm finna roll with that because that makes me look good. Yeah, I may have a little low self-esteem, but I'm rolling with that. Yeah, whatever. And see, this is someone who's ill will treating someone who loves them who care for them this ain't always got to be about a relationship either people so when the dodo decide to break boundaries because of the stupidity and worldly thinking they're gonna hang out with some humbugger who ain't gonna treat them right what happens is when they end up going that route they get dissed they get used, they get a bruise. Oh, it's going down. You can name it. Probably even got shot. Probably got their crib broken into, then got robbed and all that got set up by the, the dodo who they chose to go be with. You see what I'm saying? And with all that coming around, they want to go back. They want to go back to him. They want to go back to her. They want to come back to the person who took care of them. Who looked after them. They like, I don't care how who and who, he or she look. The, 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 the hell with that. I'm finna go back over here. No. And then check it out. When they do go back or feel that they could go back because this person in love with them or so caring for them and they'll be weak enough to take them back. When this person decide to boom, throw that wall up, boom. boom. When they decide to gray rock, they, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. You love me. Remember? I, I thought you was cool people. I thought you was a person of God. What happened? Why you why you not wanna take me back and yacht you see? And now they left out on the limb and that's where you get alcoholics and, and dope fiends and, and heroin addicts and people who wanna commit suicide, people in the nut house. For the most part, them people I'm just gonna throw it out there, maybe not all of them, but for the most, get some of their stories. Those are the ones who have taken advantage and neglected their wives or husbands or best friends or maybe a relatives. Those are the ones who got doors shut because they didn't burn bridges with people by taking advantage of their love, taking advantage of their kindness. Let me tell you something. You are going to miss the real deal when you choose to be with the fake. I done made the video yesterday about being 100. The people who you choose to be fake with because the majority rules. When you roll with them and you disown the person that's 100, that's willing to be straight 100 with you and ain't going to treat you shady. And when you roll with people who look at you and see if you're going to be down with them, to see if you're going to make this decision to, to uh, disown who really care for you, when you roll with them, they're going to make you do other things to satisfy them. They're going to be making you prove to them that you really is for them. See, that ain't love. That's people pleasing. Those are living, living for lies. And then later on, you're going to get tired of that because you feel kidnapped and used and abused yourself. And when the damage is done, you want to go back to the person who looked out for you, who, who cared for you. And then when they get tired of your shenanigans after you done treated them bad, they cut you off. Now you, now you stuck. Now I go back over there with them. It's over with. People, you got to understand. You have to treat people the way you want to be treated. If you keep treating people the way you don't want to be treated, then you're going you, you gonna to catch it. You cannot do that. People get tired. People got feelings too, bro. And like I said, it's not just about relationships. It could be friendship. It could be just social socializing with people. It could be co-worker relationships. And what I mean by that is just someone who you might have been talking to, somebody you've been working with for a long time. And it's just, I don't know, man. It's just crazy. I don't know if you all, before I click off, I don't know if you all heard about this incident, incident about these two dudes who was doing security at this place, at this bowling place. One of the guys shot his co-worker in the head twice. 
And that they said that they've been knowing each other for a long time. Who knows what might have happened? Who knows how that relationship went? But something triggered the co-worker to blow his head off. It was something so petty and stupid over a... Um, what was a metal detector? It was over a metal... Now, you know, dog on well was deeper than that. But what I'm saying, people... When people emotions get involved with the relationship that they may have for one another, who knows? I'm not defending the guy who shot him, but I'm just saying we don't know nothing. We don't know the depths of anything until somebody tell a story. Huh? Now, who knows? He might have been looking out for him. He might have paid his rent. He might have <coughs> been looking out for his debts or whatever. You know, you never know. He might have covered up some things for him or whatnot. We don't know. But it led up to the point where he felt, hey, man, you know, hey, man, I don't want to work with him no more. And he happened to come in. He was mad that the guy came in to work. So, obviously, he didn't even want to work with him no more. So, hey, they worked, and that day was something happened over a metal detector, and dude shot him. He already told me he was going, I had to do it. That's what he said. He had to do it. Who knows what matter led up to that? Now, this ain't no stranger. This ain't something that just happened. This something that might have had been built for a long time, and dude planned and plotted it and just snapped. You see what I'm saying? People, you have to be careful how you treat others. You don't know what's on somebody's mind. You don't know what somebody done been through. You don't know what somebody is going through. You have to take control of yourself. You must repent. Thank God that you come across that apart to serve channel. Thank God that you come across as Stay Solid is the Movement channel. You understand what I'm saying? Thank God that you could come across people's channels who could give you examples about dodos, who could give you examples on how to live through the scriptures. We trying to help people, but yet we keep getting bowled out. We trying to forgive people and humble, but yet we keep getting abused. We keep getting laughed at. We keep getting thrown with stones and all that. You know what I'm saying? Look, we got feelings too. We just got to stay strong spiritually. That's why we so special. That's why we are rocks and developing into mountains where you can't move us. Huh? So, man, I don't know who this video was for, but... I hope that you got inspired by it because I just got inspired by speaking to it. You understand what I'm saying? So, man, love y'all, man. Shalom.